Prosecutors seem to struggle to make their bribery case against Dallas County Commissioner John Wiley Price today. The owner of a company testified he failed to win a multi-million dollar contract despite hiring the lobbyist who was paying money to Price. Fox 4's Lori Brown joins us with more on what happened today, Lori. Steve, it's the prosecution's own witness today that seemed to confuse the bribery narrative that prosecutors have been working to create. So far in the political corruption trial against John Wiley Price, prosecutors have been working to show that companies struggling to get multi-million dollar contracts with Dallas County hired lobbyist Kathy Neely and then got what they were after. Neely has a long history with Price. The government alleges Neely paid Price nearly a million dollars in bribes over the past decade in exchange for votes and other actions to help corporate clients. But today's witness, the owner of Cyberdyne, testified that he was going to pay Neely more than a million dollars if he won the contract. The defense emphasized that in the end, he still lost. A federal defense attorney who has been following the case from the courtroom says it was likely a major victory for the defense in the mind of the jury. I find it risky how the government is presenting witnesses that testify how Commissioner Price allegedly favored Ms. Neely's clients when the testimony continues to establish that those clients, in fact, did not get the contract. I find this a touchdown for the defense. It is important to note that Cyberdyne lost to another company, QNet, that was also paying Kathy Neely. Price's defense team has argued that a longtime friend of Price was repaying loans, not giving him bribes. The trial will continue tomorrow.